Welcome to Trade Pro. In this video, I'm going to be explaining and then testing 100 times a strategy that combines RSI, price volume trend, and a multi time frame analysis approach. So, this strategy, I'll go over all the different parts to it and show you what I'm going to be doing for stop loss placement, take profit target, and entry criteria. Then I'll test it 100 times in a row and show the results at the end and kind of discuss things. So, Let's get into the strategy itself. This one was sent to me from a subscriber and Patreon supporter. And so I'm going to test it and see how it is. If you're interested in any of my affiliate links or joining the Patreon, then you can see those things in the description down below. But let's get into the strategy here and then test it out. First, I'll cover how to set up the indicators properly. So what I'll do is remove all of these and we'll just start from the beginning. So we'll go up to the indicators list and we're going to put on three RSIs onto our chart. The reason there's three is due to the multi time frame analysis. And I'm going to be going in to each of these to change the settings. Um, so you'll see how I set everything up. Another thing we're going to need is the price volume trend or PVT. So I'll put that on as well. So first step here is I'm just going to drag this PVT directly onto this RSI. And that's it. I'm then going to go into that PVT and just get rid of it visually so it's not in the way. All right. So the first step, we've dragged that PVT um, into that RSI um, and then just kind of hidden it because we aren't going to be using that line. Um, the reason I did that is so now I can go into the settings of my RSI and change the source to PVT. So you can see how the RSI changes. Now it's going to be using the price volume trend as part of its calculation. So we'll go into each of these RSIs and we'll change the source to the price volume trend. Oops. So if all those change, now we're going to go in and we're gonna keep this one at the five minute chart for this first RSI. And I'm also going to go into the style and I'm going to change or turn off the RSI because all we're going to be using is the RSI based moving average, which is a 14 period moving average um, as the base setting. OK, so this one is now complete. Now for this one, we're going to be changing it to the 30 minute time frame. And same thing for the style, just getting rid of the RSI line itself, just keeping that moving average of the RSI. And now this one is going to be the hourly time frame. So we'll change that to the hourly time frame. And once again, get rid of that RSI. I also like to get rid of the lower and upper bands of the overbought and oversold regions because we're not going to be using those. We're just going to be using the 50 line. I like to change that into a line, turning it white and um, solid so it's just easier to see on there. I also get rid of the RSI background fill. So now you can see that each of these have different time frames. We have the PVT being set there. And I've kind of customized the look of these, gotten rid of the actual RSI line since we're only using the moving average of the RSI. So I'll just do the same thing for this one as well real quick. Change this to the line, darken up this so it's easier to see. And then finally this one, do the same thing. Get rid of the upper and lower band, change this to a line. And Oh, also get rid of the background color. All right, so that is the indicator setup. We are not gonna need any indicators on our actual chart, um, such as moving averages or other things that I've used in most of my videos. Um, we're just gonna be using the hourly and the 30 minute time frames as confirmations. And then we're gonna be using this five minute time frame as the actual entry signal. So when we get an entry signal on the five minute indicator, we're gonna double check with the 30 and the hourly to make sure our trend direction matches. So now let's get into the actual entry criteria and kind of go over how this strategy actually works. Um, 
and with stop loss placement, take profit target and such. So you can kind of see what I'm actually going to be testing when I test the strategy 100 times in a row. So let's go over a few trade examples and um, make it very clear what I'm actually going to be testing. The entry signals for this strategy are going to be given by the five minute time frame indicator. For a long entry signal, it will be given when the yellow line crosses over the 50 level and a short signal is when the yellow line crosses below the 50 level. But you can't take every cross. You need to check your 30 minute and hourly time frame indicators just to make sure that they agree with what the five minute time frame signal is giving. So we get a cross up right here. I'll circle it. And we have to check down here on our 30 minute and our hourly to make sure that those are actually over their 50 lines if we want to take a long entry. As you can see, they are actually below their 50 lines when this cross happens. So it's not a valid entry. Now we have a cross down over here, which would signal a short. And we have to make sure that our hourly and 30 minute time frame indicators agree, which in this instance, they actually do. So we can take a short entry on this cross down. So that's going to be our entry candle. The stop loss will be placed at the swing high for a short entry and the swing low for a long entry. For the profit target, I'm going to be testing it at two times the risk. So it's going to look just like this as a trade setup. So what I'll do is go through probably four more trade examples so you can really kind of understand what I'm actually entering based on. Then I'll go through the 100 tests and show the results at the end. All right, let's get into some more examples. Here are three more crosses down on the five minute time frame while both the 30 minute and the hourly time frames are below their 50 lines. So all of these would be valid entries, but there's one thing to talk about and that is another rule with the strategy where you can only take one entry at a time. So you're not gonna be entering into multiple positions at the same time if you're already in a trade from a previous signal. So when they get this entry right here for a short trade, our stop loss is placed just above the swing high and then targeting two times the risk. We're not actually going to be taking the signals that happen while this trade is still open, if that makes sense, all right? Now let's get into some long examples. Now this long example has just happened recently. What we can see is that both our higher time frame indicators have gone over their 50 lines. Then we see the first cross up right here on our five minute indicator. So that would be right on this red candle. Stop loss will go just below that swing low there and then targeting two times the risk, which still hasn't hit. So this is coming back down and this one would still not be profitable based on this current setup, but still a valid entry. So you would want to take that if you're trading this strategy. Now let's go over some more examples. Okay, final example here for a long trade. We can see that both our 30 minute and hourly time frames are over their 50 levels. So we get across up here on our five minute indicator and our entry signal is going to be given on this green candle right here. Place the stop loss just below the nearest swing low and then targeting two times the risk, okay? So that's it for examples. Let's just get into the 100 tests and go through all the results at the end. the results are in after the 100 back tested trades on the NAS 100 
five minute time frames using a one to two risk to reward ratio. It took just under three months of price data to find the 100 trade signals, and it had 40 winning trades and 60 losing trades, giving it a 40% win rate. The most wins in a row was three, and the most losses in a row was seven. The gain on the account of risking 1% of your account equity per trade, 20%. So this one, the major thing that I saw that was kind of a bit flawed was with the entry signal being so late a lot of the time, often there's a large pullback right after the entry signal. So uh, perhaps using the entry signal as a kind of signal to get ready for a trade entry and then waiting for the pullback after that entry signal happens. Just something I noticed, nothing um, exact that needs to be changed, but just something that would be worth looking into there. Um, I do like the multi time frame approach and um, kind of a cool concept that can definitely be adapted to other indicators and other ways of trading. So I love the concept all put together. Um, the entry signal itself, uh, I'm a little iffy on, but I do think that it is a cool strategy and a unique one at that with putting that price volume trend as the source for the RSI, then using the moving average of the RSI instead of the RSI itself um, with the three separate time frames. Pretty cool strategy and overall um, gets a thumbs up. It stayed profitable based on this test of 100 trades. So um, definitely is a cool one and something to look into and perhaps uh, modify to be used with other indicators and other strategies. Um, just with the, the basic concept of the strategy can definitely get your mind kind of thinking about things and um, how you could maybe improve your own strategy. So pretty cool. Now let's pop it on to the strategy ranking spreadsheet and see how it stacks up. Okay, here it is on the strategy ranking spreadsheet, falling at spot number 60 out of 80 strategies tested on the channel so far. So this one does fall pretty low on the list, but I think the value lies in the overall concept of the multi time frame approach and the kind of cool idea of changing the RSI source to price volume trend um, and just kind of getting unique with it. So. Um, I love that the person who sent me this strategy um, had the idea to put all this together. Um, so that's really cool. And hopefully it can inspire some of you to come up with new ideas for your trading system. And that's the whole point of testing all these strategies anyway. So um, appreciate you guys for watching. I think that's going to wrap things up and hope everyone has a great day.